should not have picked this spinny chair. I'm literally just going to be spinning around for the whole video. Hi everyone, I'm Amy and welcome back to this week's video. Basically, I wanted to start like a little series on my channel called Lockdown Chats because if you know me, you know that I can chat for Britain. I just thought it'd be quite nice because we're not, we're obviously not spending time with people outside of our household. So I just thought, you know, just think of me as a mate, think like we're having a little catch up, we're having a little coffee date, even though that's tea. Fucked it up there. But yeah, I just thought it'd be nice and I just love to chat. So I have made a cup of tea. Obviously, I've used them um, the best mug that I could find, but I'm a bit embarrassed of my tea shades because I made it a bit light. I'd probably put it as a four on the t one to ten brew scale. Grab yourself a cup of tea or a coffee, bottle of wine, it doesn't really matter. Just grab a drink, have a little sit. Or you can stand, it's fine. You don't have to. I don't, I'm not trying to control your life. Um, and then, yeah, just watch me chat. For my channel, I obviously want to create like happy and positive videos for you to watch. But I also think it's important to stay real and to not pretend everything's okay all the time because that just that just makes things worse for everyone. If things aren't going well or like I'm struggling, I don't want to keep that from you. Or like, I'm not saying like I'll be, I'll be crying on camera for you because you know, am I still? I'm still here. So what actually prompted me to make this video was that um I don't know whether any of you watch, but there's a YouTuber called Imagination. She's not called Imagination. She's called Imogen, and she's mixed it with Imagination. You get the gist. She's been receiving a lot of hate recently, and she's made a video of basically just asking people to stop being nasty to her, which is you know you should never have to make a video for people to stop being nasty to her because people shouldn't be nasty in the first place. She also uploaded another video a couple of days later and that was a video of just basically like the effects that hate has had on her. So like that just got me thinking like apart from those two videos you would never have guessed like what she was going through and how much it was affecting her. And then it also got me thinking like how relevant that is to all of us like how we can all just pretend that everything's okay when it's not and I think especially these times oh my god this is getting so deep jeez it does just feel like everyone is coping all right with it and everyone is dealing with this lockdown perfectly fine that's about how I felt anyway like looking online it doesn't feel like people are struggling it makes me wonder when I've been struggling I'm like is it is it just me am I am I the only one that's struggling here but obviously it's it's just the way it is like we don't share our lows online um which is understandable, I don't like, because I, I, I do it, I post the highlights of my life, I don't post when I'm down in the dumps, but it's, it, I don't know, I think it's just so important that, I don't know, we just start to be a bit more real. I have just been struggling to adapt to this like new lockdown system, um, and my friends have like reciprocated that and they've said that they feel the same, but until you talk about it, you just don't know, do you? Oh, that's hot. I should have let it cool down first, but I, I want it for the, you know, like, we're having a little tea together, you know, chink chink. Um, basically, I'm just trying to say that it is completely fine to have that bad days in lockdown because I feel like, especially like now, it feels like everyone is doing okay because we can't see how people are doing, you know what I mean? So it's easy to text your friend being like, you all right? And they're like, yeah, good. And it, but you don't see them, so you can't really gauge whether they're, it's at that, they're actually good. I know it's so cliche to say, but like you are not alone in, in what you're feeling, whether it be grief, whether it be loneliness. Obviously, this pandemic, we are all worrying about this virus and that it, it is so scary at the moment. Also, there's other things that we are worrying about, like people are going through so many different stuff at the moment, and I think it's just, it's just important that we were there for each other it's just, it's just a mad time and it? it is a mad time like, i am just you know your average human being and you know i do have my down days and especially in lockdown i've been i've just been struggling but i thought that was really bad at the start i was, I was being really hard on myself but everyone is coping with this differently everyone is dealing with so much different stuff and i think it's just important that we are just there for each other as much as we can even times with me like i'm surrounded by so much love and happiness but i still get times where i feel a bit lonely or i feel a bit sad or i'm missing people that i haven't seen in a while yeah i just thought to want to be like if you are feeling this way just know we feel the same i'm here for you it was 
am I sweating? I'm sweating, me, aren't I? I just want to be a friend to you, like, even if I've never met you, if we don't really speak anymore, if we've drifted apart, or even if I pest you every single day. I just want you to know that I'm always here to chat because, like, loneliness is just, oh, it's horrendous. I don't want anyone to feel like they haven't got anyone to chat to. And honestly, just I'm here. I can provide you with jokes brilliant jokes be i can be there to listen I do, it doesn't matter like i'd rather you talk to someone than bottle it up you know what i mean i mean i should probably use my own advice as well i'm like oh. i don't know about anyone else but i've um i've really been struggling with motivation at the moment i literally th the uni work that i'm doing I, like i love like I, i'm really interested in what i'm doing but i just i can't find the motivation to actually to actually do it the other day i sat down and i was like right gonna do gonna do more of my essay two minutes later i was learning how to put a bandana into a face mask like, i can't actually sit down and concentrate like i have to like t i have to take tiktok away from me i have to take youtube away because i just i youtube like a topic that i'm supposed to be doing and then it accidentally take me to a harry styles video it's just a tricky one um i don't know whether it's anyone else i just I'm not good at working from home. It's a bit weird as well because I am in second year uni and before this lockdown, I packed as if I was just coming home for a few weeks, packed all my clothes. Not that I need many clothes in lockdown, like I'm not trying to impress the family, like, but now it's, what, eight weeks, nine weeks? I don't think any of us expected this. Like, I still remember, like, when the unis were closed and it was just like, oh, it'll be for a few weeks, we'll be back. Look at us now, eh? Look at us now. Have I just seen something in the garden or is that just my eyes? Hmm. It's like Blackpool Illuminations in our garden, honest to God. My dad just keeps buying lights, just doesn't stop. Not that I'm complaining, they look lush. I promise me other lockdown chats will be a bit more structured, but this one I just, I just thought I'd have a little ramble with you. I'm in the middle of making two videos as well that will be going up shortly. I also want to create for you. I want to know what you want to see. So just obviously, just keep, just comment what you want to see and I'll be sure to make it. I'm sending everyone so, so, so much love. That you're all doing well. And if you're not doing well, that's okay too. Just know that I'm here for you as well as so many people. But you're all okay. I want to give you a big hug. If you have it, oh, let's pretend that like we're finishing this little coffee date. So, oh, it was lovely catching up with you. Oh, give us a hug. They, you take care, yeah. See you soon. Bye bye. That was really weird, wasn't it? I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you for still staying subscribed, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Yeah.